that good, that for the death, for the death. Six shots, make him get back. All that chit chat, chit chat, riff rap, riff rap. My nigga say in the death. Nigga, we fucking up, but he ain't on shit. I got like 50 rounds of Vinny's clip. If I don't eat you, nigga, I'll be the fifth. Uh, cause mommy still call up the kid, nigga, tryna like that, but give me a bit. Uh, I'm like, nigga, fuck me, bitch. The judge, like, why you acting like a dick? I said, I'm moving like I'm eating dick. I'm moving like I'm eating Yo guys, look at my other This is what if Naruto had White Snake. Now I'm doing this what if because you know Stone Ocean's gonna come soon, bruh. Stone Ocean. Like being on one bam one bam one bam. Okay, let me stop. But like anyways, Stone Ocean is gonna drop in December. December is where my birthday is on 26. Mark your calendars. Ha ha ha. But anyways, let's just jump into this what if. So when Naruto was born, the Naruto attack would still happen. But when Minato did the Reaper Death Seal, Kid Naruto, without hesitation, would touch this Reaper of some sort. From there, the Reaper would then disappear after getting touched by it, as Minato would fall down. He knew something must have happened. The Reaper Death Seal doesn't it doesn't it, it doesn't go away that fast. He knows he sealed the Nine Tails within Naruto. Half of it, of course. But why is. <sighs> why? I'm confused. How did. W what happened? Reaper Dust was supposed to stay here still. But he. He, he digressed. He would see Haruzen. And he would say the same things in canon. Please take care of my son. I. Wish you well, Karuzin, as this is my final moments. Please take care of him, as Minato would die with Kashina. Naruto, he would have been fast asleep. For unknown reasons, though, I thought he would thought he would still be crying. Anyways, Naruto would grow up just like a the cannon. Donzo leaking the information about Naruto. Naruto having to move out of the orphanage. And put into an apartment by Haruzen and so on. Naruto will be walking down the street as he will, it will be like a bubble. Nobody's walking within this bubble. People are holding their children to block them from this bubble to enter within any radius of the demon. As people are crowded up on the sides, scared, yelling, throwing things. At the boy as he walks and walks glass shards with on well, well on the boy as they throw beer cans beer bottles some miss some don't throwing at them getting cuts and bruises though it would then regenerate proving the villagers to be to them that he truly is a demon and nothing else and so, this boy, well, yeah, Naruto, he'll keep walking and walking as he'll then take a left into a, an alleyway to escape the people and to get home quicker. The faster he gets home quicker, the faster he can rest. And so, Naruto, he would take this alley shortcut. But once he would do, two ninjas would then jump from a balcony of some sort. Landing in front of Naruto, as they would say, "Well, look what we have here." You know, I think we can be seen as heroes. Heroes, I tell you, heroes. <laughs> You're right. If we take them down, we'll definitely be shown as heroes. Took my parents away from me. Now I'll take your precious life, you nine tails demon. And so they would stare down Naruto. Naruto would be confused at first, but then scared as they start showing hostile intent. One of them would take out a kunai, rushing over at Naruto. Naruto would scare, who would be scared, trying to back up, but then he would fall onto the floor. This chun this Genning would try to run up on Naruto, try to stab, or just not tuning. I'm saying tuning actually. This chun would try to run up on Naruto and stab him, though once he did try to, a some, something would block him, but for Naruto, something would appear. A white hand with markings around it, like a wristband, would appear. As it would grab this 
shooting his hand as it would break it like a twig. He was trying to start crying out in pain. Ah! My hand! My hand! My arm! My arm! Get him! You nine tails demon with your weird powers. I will avenge my family and make sure I kill you. This person will then run run over to Naruto, getting ready to cast a jutsu, an earth style jutsu, an earth spike. He then run up to Naruto, getting ready to cast it. But this this white thing Naruto sees would then just grab on to the dude's hands, breaking his fingers. After that, he would see two fists, not the whole body though, just two floating arms of a fist. Punching down on both of these good dudes as they seem to be have, well, they seem to have died. And so, Naruto would be confused, so he would just run home. Once he has gotten home, he would, he's, he, he doesn't know. He can't put in words to say what just happened. And then a thing would appear in front of him. Hello. Naruto would back up. As he would be scared. But this thing would then start talking. I do not have that much time. Though I won't be here to explain to you what I am. I am White Snake. I possess the ability to steal. Though I helped you. Reason being is to protect you as you're my owner. Though I don't have that much time to talk. Because this is my only chance to. We probably won't be able to meet ever again. Though, well, me talking to you ever again. But I will be here to serve you throughout the rest of your days until you perish. Use me well. Use me how you want. Though, I would not care any. Any. Ah, what's that word? Oh well, I can't be smart. I would not care any less. Well, I see you later. Ha <laughs> ha. As this thing would then appear, Naruto would think he's hallucinating. Maybe those bottles the villagers threw at his head, you know, made him act up a bit, you know? He wouldn't say white snake as this white mysterious figure, like what you see on screen, would then appear. As it would stare down Naruto. Naruto would be kind of confused, but he did say this thing can steal. So, Naruto would go and test it out. Right after, you know, this well, cleaning himself up. Naruto would start, you know, walking around the village. Some villagers wouldn't care. Some villagers would hate him. You get the gist. As he would, would see this, like, you know, a, a mask shop. So, White Snake can steal, huh? Alright, then. Naruto would call out White Snake as White Snake would then... He would just basically use White Snake to go over and grab a mask. The mask would then fall, making the shop owner like notice. Huh? What the heck just fell? As the mask on the floor, he would go to pick it up, but then the mask would start dragging itself across the floor. As the shop owner would back up, be like, whoa, whoa! And then he would spot it. The Nine Tails Demon. As he would be shocked. He's scared. He doesn't want to fight it. If he's able to do something like that, then he's definitely not approaching it. Who knows what would happen if he if he did anything to it. Though he hasn't taken any of his family members, he's scared. So he, he lets it go. Naruto will take the mask and be like, all right, nice. Naruto then rock well run home. As he got a sick mask. Anyways. Once Naruto would reach home to his residence. He would see as a. Like two people would be at his door. Well outside of his door. As Naruto would go to answer it from being inside. But then kick Naruto. to the, Well they kick Naruto. Sending him flying back. As a Uchiha member. And some type. This, this Saru Tobi would look up at Naruto saying, huh, it's just the guy who's the dude that killed our friends on Nine Tails Demon. I should have expected it. You're really gonna die now. You're gonna pay. 
that dude's whole, they're both, their whole families are wiped because of you. I'll make sure you die here today. Alright? Yeah. As the Sarutobi and the Uchiha would be planning of what they should do with Naruto. Uh, well, at this time, the Uchiha clan massacre still hasn't happened. So, Sasuke is still happy. Anyways, they would rush over to Naruto as they're trying to land some type of bl any blows on him. Uchiha, from seeing how Naruto keeps dodging all the attacks and projectiles keep being thrown at them and somehow getting hit by some type of mysterious ghost, he would then activate his Sharingan. This will be a, a three... Uh, sorry. This would be a three Tomoe. Then it would start spinning for a little bit, but then it would stop spinning as the Uchiha would then say to himself, hmm. I don't need to use that type of power on you. Now. <laughs> it's gonna be fun killing you. As they'll then tow over as the Uchiha will try to stab Naruto. This Uchiha will then see something. It's like he would see a wave or something move. Though it's invisible to him. But it's like, okay. It's like strands, like little tiny strands moving. But he can't really see them that much. And then punch the Uchiha in the face real hard. As a barrage was a barrage of attacks would start hitting on the Uchiha. And then this white snake would do something Naruto would not expect. Disc what top as two discs would come out of the Uchiha as Naruto would be confused. The the Sarutobi would look at Naruto, look at the Uchiha. Damn you! You killed my friend! I'm gonna kill you! As he then rushed over at Naruto, trying to land a finishing blow. From there, Naruto would call upon White Snake to finish this. As White Snake would then go over, punching up the Sarutobi and doing the same thing. Disc. What the? Taking four, well, technically disc from these two people now what do you mean by this if you don't know what or haven't read the manga or don't know what white snake is white snake has the ability to steal your memory and abilities though in the anime they can see can steal your stands but however abilities i'll make it like your clan your clan um, abilities your abilities that you have access to everything like that you can also steal your memories, just like the anime. I mean, the um, manga. That was soon to be anime. Animated. But, I don't know, whatever. Anyways, Naruto, he would take these discs from the White Snake. As one of them would say memory, and the other one would say disc. He's not sure what to do with them, but one of them had a Uchiha logo on them. So he would decide to use the memory disc and put it, you know, just hold it up a bit, you know. Looking at it, he would he would tap his forehead with it, not on purpose, but then the disc would then go inside. As Naruto would receive so much information from this disc, as then the disc would then fall out. Naruto has so much memories of this person from the day of their born, the day they unlocked their Sharingan, and then some type of evolution of the Sharingan. What, what the how he's what <sighs> Naruto looking at all, all these memories until now and to when and what this person was thinking until he died he then look at the other disc as it would say well this disc with the Uchiha logo on it so Nar no a Sharingan logo on it he then put it in his head as he would then have, he would then look through the dude's memories on how to use this ability of his. And so, he would then act with the Sharingan. Naruto would be amazed as, wow. This is amazing. I could take abilities from people. Clan people's abilities. This, th this is truly amazing. I wonder what else I can do with this type of stuff. Yeah. So much stuff I can do with this. Anyways, now 
Naruto. He would take he would take then take off the disc because well try to put another disc of the Sarutobi. But it seems like he can't have two discs in one time. He can't have two discs in one time. Basically, he can't have the Sharingan disc and a Sarutobi scale disc in at the same time. They can't correlate together. So maybe one at the same time. Anyways, he then put in the Sarutobi memory disc and take it out as he absorbed all the memories from the Sarutobi. He basically knows all the, the jutsu that the Sarutobi knows. This this is amazing. Now he knows how to pass. He was a shadow clone, and he can possibly know how to control his chakra. And so that's what Naruto started doing, because he knew that he has terrible, terrible chakra. As he tried to divide it from the Nine Tails, but still, it will be really hard. He felt like he had a grip, a grip on it. But then it would disappear. But it doesn't matter. Naruto would go to the academy as usual. As he'll start passing tests with flying colors. As he knows the answers. And from there. Naruto though. He doesn't really. Okay. He, okay, he absorbs memories. But not their skill. Not that much of how they. Okay. Training memory. If they train in the memory. He can absorb like their training. How they. How they would throw something with precise aim. Like, bro, Naruto's aim would go from like a 1 to 100 from their memories. Naruto's aim with like kunais or whatever would be really good. It's just that he doesn't have like the body mass that they had, what they were doing. So things are much different for him. Anyways, Naruto, he would keep training with his power, you know, his power. Using the Sharingan sometimes and yada yada. Later, Naruto would then take or steal a bag. This bag would be used for carrying disc, power disc, as it would. He would only take it out when he needs to take out a certain disc. This disc would help him whenever he needs in battle. So Naruto would train every day, every day, every day until it's time for the graduation exams. Well, not the graduation, but yeah, graduation. Naruto would come to do a shadow clone jutsu as he'd be super confident. But it it would work, but it wouldn't. As it would be a it looked like a perfect clone, but then it would start shrinking, and the color would fade out of it. Ruka was happy at first, but then it turned into sadness as he had high hopes for Naruto, but he had to fail him. Naruto was sitting on a swing set as he was sad. He didn't pass all that training, all those memories. He didn't. Pass as he would sit there, start crying. As Mizuki would go up to him, say, Hey, Naruto, don't feel sad. <laughs> Mizuki sensei, <sighs> come on, Naruto. I have what you can pass. You know, you didn't pass here. There's another way you can actually pass. <laughs> R- really? Mizuki would then explain, Well, you can, if you get this scroll of sling for me, then I'm actually able to pass you. Naruto, Hank have been hanging out in the Haruzi's office before, would easily know where this is in all the locations. And so that's what he would do. He would go over and steal the scroll of sealing. Now, it's nighttime. Naruto's going through the scroll of sealing. He'll then find a bingo book section of the scroll of sealing. Wanted people. This looks like a new inscription. It says... Orochimaru, a former, a former student of the fourth Hokage, turned rogue due to found found experiments of countless dead people within the Leaf Village. He is a high rogue, to be dangerous, of course. Naruto finds this person interesting as he's done he has done experiments on people. These experiments, what? This is really interesting. How? What type of experiments though? Naruto does have disc, but maybe he can use his disc on other people. You never know. What type of experiments can he do with his disc? And if this person is a really smart dude, he can possibly maybe work with him to improve his knowledge on his power of his stand and know how to basically get more power and use it. While using his stand. He thinks about it. 
But then he finds a jutsu from the book. This would be the multi shadow glow jutsu. Now, everything basically in canon from this point on would happen like regular. Mizuki would come. The Haruzen, I mean, um, not Haruzen. Uh, shoot, ah. What was his name again? I keep forgetting his name. But I digress. Cause it, regular, this is gonna be just like what happens at canon. Mizuki gets boxed up by 100,000 Naruto clones. Let me stop. Anyways, um, after that day, Naruto has gotten his head bent. So go back to the school. Still to be surprised. How did Naruto pass? Didn't he like fail yesterday? I literally be looking at him. Naruto, he's been on the side. Actually, has been working out. He knew. He knows that he needs to get to a physical. He needs to get to a phys a better physical physique to do what they did and the memories that he has now. And so, Naruto, he walk up to the classroom as he wait for his team. Now, things would happen just like in the canon, basically. As Kakashi would be late, the team 7 will be waiting, and then, sooner or later, Kakashi would appear. Kakashi would come out of the door saying, oh, sorry, I was late. I got path. I got lost in the path of enlightenment. Anyways, come on, let's go to the rooftop. So... Everybody would then go over to the rooftop as they'll start explaining what they want to be, what their goals are. Sasuke Sakura will be the same as Naruto then go up next. Well, my dream is to figure out what to do with this power I have, more more experiments of it with this power I have. I want to use it to new heights and become someone. Someone people should know as the most powerful ninja in this nation that can snake you or something like that in any second Kakashi's like oh that's pretty cool to become powerful ninja they look they start thinking about the way they see experiments did it like a, a rogue ninja named or tomorrow get a village for doing experiments huh um okay then Naruto he was just talking and talking and Kakashi's like huh all right stop because we have some time we can go to the training field and do your early assessment Tissa won't be hyped as they would go. It's late in the afternoon, as I should say. Alright, you have until night time to get these bells, or until 24 hours. And so, Kakashi would basically say, Yup, you get these bells, or you don't pass, from me back to the academy. The team would be like, What? There's only two bells? And Kakashi would say, Have fun, as he'll disappear. From there, Kakashi, Sakura, and well, yeah, it's Kakashi Saba, Sakura, and Naruto then jump into a bush as they're thinking. Kakashi has gone somewhere. They need to figure out where he is. They can possibly sense his chakra, but none of them there are sent chakra century ninjas. Naruto then says something. Oh, I have some experience with chakra century. You, huh? You do? For someone that filled the exam, I'm surprised you even able to do that. All right, let's go. You see if they're able to track him. Your piece is right over there, like two miles. Two miles. Alright, now let's go. As they'll then start running over. They'll then see Kakashi. Naruto will be running on tree. Jump tree jumping as... They, before they'll reach Kakashi, Sasuke will stop Naruto. Hey, N Naruto, how do you do that tree jumping technique? As Naruto takes his time to teach them how to do it. They'll be... They'll think, they will thank Naruto for this thing to teach them how to do it. And then they'll see Kakashi. Alright, Kakashi. Get ready to fight us. And they'll then rush over at Kakashi. As Naruto would pull a disc, he then shove it into a side that everybody would see. And then Naruto would cast hand signs. As he'll do then do a burning ash jitsu. As Kakashi would be like, wait a minute, is this a, a star Toby clan jitsu? As he would then tell um, both Sakura and Sasuke to back up. As Naruto would add fire to his burning ash. Causing a huge explosion. And that's the end of this what if. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. And watch out for part two. See ya.